Hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of What's New in Serverless 360. I'm Shruti and with me is Sona from the Serverless 360 team. Our focus today is on highlighting the most recent releases from Serverless 360 for the month of September along with the new features we have added to the product. So Serverless 360 is an advanced cloud management platform designed specifically for Microsoft Azure, offering a comprehensive suite of tools within these four modules shown for efficient monitoring tracing, remediation and governance of your Azure ecosystem. Now moving on to the next slide to see the latest product news and what's latest from the Serverless 360 community. We have some newly released YouTube videos on topics like log analytics versus spam for business users, optimizing the cost of logic apps consumption and configuring API management to use spam. And when it comes to the audio side of things, we've got two new podcasts from the Azure MVPs. Alex and Dinesh on serverless microservices on Azure and Microsoft Fabric which you can check it out on Spotify and YouTube podcasts as well. Next up for all the avid readers out there we have dropped blogs on the overview of Azure API Center, monitoring multiple Azure subscriptions in a single dashboard and Azure SQL database monitoring. We trust you'll find these resources valuable and now I'll hand it over to Sona to roll out the latest product features and give us a first hand look through a demo. Hello everyone. Thanks Shruti for the updates. Let me now give a glance of the September release items. In the general section, we have a new feature to search all the entities associated within Serverless 360 portal. This enhances the user experience and allows navigation across different pages easily. Next in general section, we have brought a validation before saving the notification channels to eliminate disruptions in transmitting the alerts. In BAM module, we can define and save the queries in the monitoring section of the groups and business processes. Next feature in BAM is save as option for the queries. In Azure Documenta, we've brought a new document type called right sizing recommendations. So this document provides recommendations for optimizing performance and cost by choosing the right SKUs for the resources in Azure. In cost analyzer module, we have resource usage graph now. This is nothing but a graphical representation of the idle status of your Azure resource over a specific time. Along with this feature, the team has also made few other improvements to enhance the user experience, which I'll explain in detail later. Let me demonstrate the search feature in general section. Initially, it was a little difficult for the users to navigate to an entity as they have to go to the corresponding modules and then look out for the entity. But now you can navigate to the corresponding entity in just a click. Say we have a service bus queue in business application by the name SL360 prod you need not have to go to the module and then navigate to the resources page you just have to put the resource name in the search bar and will be displayed with all the entities that match the filter along with their paths so on clicking upon this we'll directly be navigated to the resources page similarly if i have a stage by the name booking validation in bam you just have to put the name of the stage in the search bar and will be displayed with all the results here so on clicking this i'll directly be navigated to the transactions page in bam so the next feature in the general section is to validate the notification channels before saving them previously we were allowing the users to save their credentials without validating them which while transmitting the alerts had some disruptions due to which a few alerts could have gone missing now the channels have to be validated and only if the credentials are valid we let the user save them so let me put an invalid credential here when i try to validate it i'll be returned with an error message so when i put the valid credentials it will pass the check and i'll be able to save the notification channel So next, in the BAM module, we have the save as option for the queries. So I can alter a existing query and save it as a new query by using the save as option. This is my existing query, and after making changes to it, I can save it as a new query by using the save as option. I have to provide a name for my new query, and I can also set this as my default search. And on saving it, we'll be having the query here. So the next feature in BAM is regarding the monitoring queries. Now only the monitoring enabled queries will be displayed here. If a user wants to add a new query, then they can click on the add query button and provide a name for the new query. 
We'll also have all the saved queries listed here and we can choose either one from them and validate it. And when the validation passes, we'll have to add the query here. And upon clicking update, all the queries will be updated and will be monitored based on the aggregation period here. Next, in the Azure Documenter module, we have the right sizing document. This provides a detailed report on choosing the right SKU for the resource types, which will help in enhancing the performance and the cost. This document is supported for the resource types like SQL Database, App Service Plan, Cosmos Container, Cosmos Tables, Cosmos Databases, Virtual Machines and Virtual Machine Scale Sets. So to generate a document, we'll have to click on the Actions menu and the Generate Document option here. So in this plate, you have to choose the right sizing recommendation option and you have to choose the currency in which you want your document to be generated. And on clicking Generate, the document will be queued for generation. So this is a sample right sizing document. So here we have a summary of the subscription where we have the current cost, optimized cost and the recommendations. So we have four type of recommendations here. The ideal recommendation means that the resources are not in use and downgrade states that the resources do not use its maximum capacity and upgrade means that the resources utilizes its maximum capacity and the no change states that the resources doesn't need any change in the SKU usage. So say we have a VM that doesn't utilize its maximum capacity, then we'll have the virtual machine in the downgrade section. So here in this section, we'll have the resource name along with its current SKU, current cost and the recommended SKU and optimized cost. Similarly, we'll have for the other recommendations too. So next in the cost analyzer module, we have the resource usage graph. This is nothing but a graphical representation of the idle status of the resources over a period of time. We have this the resource usage graph in the right sizing page of Cost Analyzer. So on clicking upon a resource, a blade will open with all the resource details. Here we'll have the resource usage. And this is a calendar view representing the status of the resource over a period of time. We have different views of the same. So here we have a time setting option where you can choose the time range in which you want to know the status of your resource. So the next improvement in the module is that we've brought in pagination here. So earlier we were listing all the resources that had recommendations. Now we've brought the load more option. So only the first 40 resources will be displayed and upon clicking the load more, the next set of resources will be displayed here. So the next improvement in the module is when you apply filters earlier, say we have the resource group filter, only the grid data was getting updated. Now, the chart data will also be updated to give a better understanding. So that's it with the feature demos. For the upcoming release in business application module, we'll be bringing in support for monitoring the connections of virtual network gateways. In BAM, we're bringing a capability to sync the configurations between different transactions, which will reduce the manual efforts and errors while removing the developments between different environments. Next one in BAM is that BAM deployment is restricted to a default resource set so far. Now we're making it customizable, allowing the users to choose the required resources for the deployment. In Cost Analyzer module, we'll be bringing in optimization scheduling and right sizing support for Azure SQL Elastic Pools. Hope this video was informative. Thanks all. Shruti, I'll let you take it from here. Thanks for the informative update, Sona. So for people interested in knowing about a product, do have a scan of this QR to get a personalized demo. You can also check out the description box for the links of blogs, YouTube videos mentioned, and also have access to the release notes of current and previous month's features. Thank you.